वेलकम बैक इंजीनियर्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट रैंडम वाइब्रेशन एनालिसिस रैंडम वाइब्रेशन एनेबल्स यू टू डिटरमाइन द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर टू वाइब्रेशन लोड्स दैट आर रैंडम इन नेचर वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल इज दैट द एग्जाम्पल वुड बी द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ ए सेंसिटिव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंपोनेंट्स माउंटेड इन ए कार सब्जेक्टेड टू द वाइब्रेशन फ्रॉम द इंजन पेमेंट रफनेस एंड द अकोस्टिक प्रेशर रैंडम वाइब्रेशन एनालिसिस कैन बी यूज टू कैलकुलेट स्ट्रक्चर रिस्पॉन्स टू नॉन डिटर्मिनेस्टिक नॉन डिटर्मिनेस्टिक मीन्स रैंडम लोड सच एज अ ट्रबुलेंस एंड द इंजन नॉइस इट मीन्स दैट द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ रैंडम लोड्स सच एज इंजन नॉइस इंजन वाइब्रेशन calculated by the random response analysis the result are presented as statical values because we do not know the exact load history some of the important steps must be followed to perform random vibration analysis in ansys first one is that we perform eigen frequency simulation to find mode shifts needed to the random vibration analysis Use a model superposition technique. Second one is that we provide excitation in the PST form. Apply base motion with the PST curve in the form of acceleration, velocity, and displacement. In this slide, we will discuss about PST, power spectral density. The frequency content of the time history means the spectrum is captured along with the statics. and used as the load in random vibration analysis this spectrum for the historical reasons is called power spectral density the excitation is applied in the form of power spectral density the psd is the table of spectral values versus frequency that captures the frequency content the psd captured the frequency and the mean square amplitude content of the load time hst This analysis is based on mode superposition method hence a model analysis that extract the natural frequency and the mode shift random vibration analysis are statical in nature so are the output response such as displacement stresses and so on this graph is nothing but the deviation with 1 sigma 2 sigma and 3 sigma we will discuss at the end of the session Today we will analysis automotive chassis. The material is structural steel, element size 1.5, modes to extract 12, mass coefficient 2.59, EP key power 2. Output we find out directional deformation equivalent my one my stresses response PST. As we discuss that the random vibration analysis follows the mode superposition method. in the mode superposition first of all we analysis model after that we analysis random vibration the geometry model and the solution we collaborate with the random vibration first of all we import the geometry so first of all click on geometry click on file import the geometry from our design library say open Six hundred. As we see that the, everything is right for import the geometry, so we will go through the mechanical model for the analysis. Click on model. Wait some time for open the tab. This process is known as solver. and the setup and the solution process is known as post processing process in finite element analysis wait some time for open the tab
in the geometry we see that there is no thickness so first of all we give the thickness as 2 mm after that we give element size as 1.5 as per the problem statement and say generate as we see that the number of elements are too small so the more the elements number and the small the element size give the more qualifiable results as per the problem statement we find the 12 mode shapes so type 12 go through the solution sorry first of all in the model analysis we give the fixed support insert fixed support as per the problem statement we select all the faces where we apply the fixed support say apply and say solve as we give the invalid geometry so click on apply select solve as per the problem statement we find out 12 mode shape with the natural frequencies after that we perform random vibration analysis so go through the analysis setting select calculate oscillation yes as per the problem statement click on damping controls give the mass coefficient 2.59 as per the problem statement 2.59 e, e to power 2 minus 2 click on random vibration insert PSTG oscillation the geometric conditions is that all fixed supports click the direction Y as per the problem statement there are two methods to write down the tabular data of frequency versus oscillation the first one is that we write down all the data from our data sheet and second one is that we import the excel sheet of the frequency and oscillation data from the saved file so write down all the frequency and g oscillation
In the output, we find out directional deformation, own mysis stresses, and the response PST. The direction deformation in Y axis. Insert stress. Insert equivalent von Mises stresses. Select the insert. Select Rinso Respond PSD tool. Click on plus icon. Select response PSD. Apply where you find out the output. As per the problem statement, select apply. The direction we find out the y axis and say solve. As we find out the result and the response PSD and the equivalent von Mises stresses. As we discuss the graph of deviation as per the problem statement 1 sigma, 2 sigma and the 3 sigma effect we find out in the directional deformation. Select 2 sigma. As you see that the percentage of the probability change. As per the problem statement, we find out for the 1 sigma. In the 1 sigma, we the result find out as per the problem statement 68 point something. Change the maximum and the minimum value according to the sigma. As we see that the response PST we find out in the in the tabular data. So anyone have doubt, send me a mail on my mail ID design word. 1738 the rate gmail.com stay home stay safe